okay now let us go to wave optics lesson 3 uh, we discuss about uh, uh, Huygens principle uh, this is also called Huygens Fresnel principle uh, Huygens is name of a physicist Mr. Huygen a Dutch physicist and Fresnel Mr. Fresnel a French physicist uh, what is the principle uh, this principle is applied to problems of uh, wave propagation. Uh, principle is every point on a wave front is itself a fresh source of new disturbance called wavelets. Uh, now, and those wavelets are sending out uh, new disturbances in the forward direction. Now look, suppose this is a source of light, the wave is traveling to this side, right, this side, and suppose A, B, this, is a wave front, means all the points uh, on A, B, all the points, this, 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 all the points lying on A, B are identical in the state of vibration. Uh, I consider three points, this point, this point and this point, point 1, point 2, point 3. There are many more points, all the points, all the points, this, 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 all these points are in the same state, I consider only three points, okay, 1, 2, 3. Now, we know distance is equal to velocity into time, distance is S, velocity of light is C, is time T. Now. Let's say t is equal to 1 second. Uh, C is constant. So, the distance traveled will be. So, the distance traveled is C into t. You can take to, you can take t 1 second, 2 second, whatever it is. Let it be t. So, uh, according to the principle, all the points on this wave front A, B, which is called primary wave front, each point, this, 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 all points act as a fresh source, new source of disturbance. Means this is a new source of disturbance, this is a new source of disturbance, this is also a new source of disturbance. And all the new sources of disturbance, they are again sending out, sending out disturbances in the forward direction. Now, this distance will be this distance will be speed into time t. This distance will be speed into time t. This distance will be speed into time t. I have taken t same for all these three cases. So, with this distance, with this distance or this distance, this distance as radius and taking this as center, this as center and this as center, I draw a circle here. I draw another circle here, I draw another circle here. Now, A dash, B dash, this dotted line is a common tangent to these three circles. According to this principle, this A dash, B dash is again a wave front. It's called secondary wave front. But the particles on A dash, B dash, but all the points on A dash, B dash, may not be identical to all the points on a b huh, because uh, because suppose suppose all the points on a b on the wave front a b are in this state suppose all the points on the wave front a b are in this state if this distance that is same thing as this that is same thing as this is equal to this distance that is lambda then this point will be identical to this so if this distance is equal to the wavelength of lambda then only all the points on a dash b dash will be identical in vibration to all the points on a b fine so uh, the wave is propagating like this at a far off distance, this will appear straight. So let here AB is a plane wave front. 
called the primary wave front means all the points on AB are identical in the state of vibration that is same thing as saying they are in phase then how to get another wave front according to, to the principle of Huygens principle each point on AB are acting as are acting as a phrase source of new disturbance means this is again a source of disturbance this point 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 this point this point all the points are again a new source of disturbance sending out disturbances in the forward direction here uh, let this distance is equal to this distance is equal to this distance how much suppose lambda by 2 suppose lambda by 2 now suppose lambda by 2 from this point to this point is also lambda here to here is also lambda so from here to here is from here to here this point to this point is is your lambda by 2 now so if this distance this distance this distance are equal to lambda by 2 then taking this distance as the radius of a circle i draw a circle taking this as the radius of a circle i draw a circle take this as the radius of a circle i draw another circle you can draw many more you can draw many more and a common tangent that is a dash b dash to all the circles is again a wave front but this a dash b dash is not identical to a b because i have taken the distance equal to lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so because i have taken the distance lambda by 2 had it been lambda then it would have been identical because this point and this point is identical then uh, then we know for a wave this distance is lambda and the angle is equal to 2 pi the half of that is lambda by 2 so 2 pi by 2 that is equal to pi means if all these all the points on a b are in this state because a dash b dash is at a distance lambda by 2 so all the points on a dash b dash are in this state look this state is not identical to this state this point is trying to move up this point is trying to come down so the angle between them is pi so pi means out of phase one is to this side one is to this side that is 180 degree apart so a dash b dash is not in in phase with a b because the distance is lambda by 2 and lambda by 2 is equivalent to pi so they have a phase difference of 180 degree now the first wave front a b is called the primary wave front a dash b dash is called the secondary wave front right so this is how this is what the Huygens principle is from that each point on a given wave front acts as a new source of disturbance sending out waves in the forward direction so how to construct that by constructing circles of a constant radius and constant radius and drawing a common tangent we we find the new wave front.